Hello, dear students. So I am the project manager for the Ocean Spray project. You have been assigned by your project manager two documents, right, which you have to translate. In the process of translating the project, as a teacher, I will require you to analyze the documents from two different perspectives. The first one is going to be a mere translation technique analysis in which you will review all the techniques that we explored in class and you will find techniques that have been used by you during the translation process. To tell you what I mean is uh, the translation techniques documents right here. What you have to do is review all the concepts, direct and oblique di uh, translation techniques. Uh, make sure you review the Barwin Cock literal translation on the direct uh, translation techniques framework and also review most importantly the oblique translation techniques which are going to be found all over the place when you translate the actual documents for ocean spray so what is it that you do here what you have to do is you have to create a document and share it in Google Docs if you're still that familiar with how to use Google Docs you can always go to uh, YouTube and watch some instructional videos uh, as of how to do this. Basically, what's going to happen is you're going to create your document as a Google Doc file, and you will send me a link. You will uh, share the document with me. When I get the document, what I expect to see is the actual target text after you translate. Remember that clients uh, do want to see a document that is actually very similar to the source text so please keep the, f the editing all the you know, the way it looks uh, pretty much the same you know the same font the same structure of the test every paragraph the highlighted words or the underlined words you should keep all that the same all right so here's the document I'm not going to show it to you because you're supposed to do it <laughs> thought I was going to share the information right no uh, here's the document and what I want you to do is to highlight the text maybe I'll show you a little bit here I will show you only the first section of it so you highlight a word if you are reading your uh, this the target text after you translate you're going to compare source and target text and you will uh, try to think of the translation techniques that you learned in class and are you using are you using literal translation for a specific phrase or are you modulating what is it that you're doing are you basically um, borrowing a word or are you uh, doing some adaptation reformulation what is it that you're doing I'd like to see if you are looking at it from a critical eye of a translator if you identify the section in which you did literal translation what you do next is basically highlight the word and you will basically add a comment add a comment you right click on the phrase and you add a comment the same way my student Andres did here okay so you're going to go ahead and do that for every page of the document uh, you will find as many situations in which you use translation techniques as possible. Uh, you will do this for several pages. And towards the end, what I want you to do is to write a, an essay in which you will describe holidays framework in terms of field, tenor, and mode. I want you to describe and answer all the questions on the framework as an actual essay as my student Andres Naveda did here right I'm not going to show it to you either you have to do your own work so basically that's what it is I'm going to get an email from you with a link you see the link here I click on the link and I will see your comments on translation techniques I will see uh, an actual essay by the end of the document in which you talk about field mode and tenor and I will also add my own comments and you will be able to see my comments on the on the target text so basically it will revise your document and let you know how it went in terms of
translation techniques, how does this framework, and the actual overall look of the text, and your expertise in terms of translating actual tasks. I will be seeing if you are actually using the words you should be using here, uh, the way you structure sentences, your grammar. Okay, so good luck. I think uh, I cover it all here. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. All right, have a good day.